Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make this amazing foaming facial wash. Now some of you might be familiar with some of my other video tutorials and recipes where I've used sea moss as an additive or an ingredient for creams, body washes, lotions, cold process soap, and I think melt and pour soap. So in this recipe, we're also gonna be using a sea moss infusion. In this video today, I'm gonna to be going over my step-by-step -step visual process and tutorial of how to put together this beautiful facial wash. I think you're really gonna love it. It's one of my most favorite facial washes at the moment that I've ever formulated. So I'm very excited to be sharing it with you. If you would like the full written recipe and a full detailed step-by-step -step tutorial with percentages and links to where to purchase everything to make this facial wash, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this recipe along with three and a half years now of archive recipes for just one small $5 pledge. There is really a ton to take advantage of over on my Patreon campaign. Like I said, we do post weekly recipes and tutorials, sometimes twice weekly, and there are now three and a half years of archive recipes. In addition to that, we have live monthly classes, live hangouts, coupon codes to my favorite suppliers, monthly gift packages. It's a great, great way to connect with me and other makers. I hope that you'll take a look at it and take advantage of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description box for you. I hope you'll join me over there. All right, let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're gonna be using some raw aquamarine sea moss. This is wild crafted and organic. I got it off of Amazon. So sea moss, this is what it looks like, the aquamarine, it doesn't matter what color you use. Sea moss is considered a superfood because it's packed full of vitamins and minerals that your body needs every day, but also for your um, hair, your hair care and your skincare routine, it's a really good thing to use as well because it's got a ton of vegan collagen in it. And that's what we're gonna use out of this sea moss. We're gonna infuse it into the water and release that beautiful collagen into our facial wash. Also, we're gonna be releasing the vitamins and minerals in our infusion as well, making this foaming facial wash super unique and also very good for your skin. So before we use the sea moss, we do need to go ahead and prep it. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna tear a little bit off of this bundle here, and then I'm gonna go wash it. I'm gonna rinse it really good, just under cold tap water, just to remove like the salt and any debris that might be in here from the ocean. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go rinse it off, clean it, and then I will bring you back for the next step. All right, now that my sea moss is all cleaned and rinsed, we're gonna go ahead and weigh off the water that we need for this formula. So, we're gonna pour more than enough water because we may lose some to the infusion. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in some distilled water. You wanna make sure you're using distilled water. Okay, all you're gonna do is take this water and we're gonna heat it up. So I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and get it to almost a boiling state and then I'll bring you back. All right, so my water is piping hot. It, I brought it just up to a boil and then let it sit so it wasn't totally boiling right now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and place the sea moss into this coffee filter. Now, the reason I'm doing that instead of just placing it directly in the water is once the sea moss comes into contact with the hot, hot water, it starts to break down and it starts to render a little bit. and I don't want this water to get too thick. So what happens is the collagen will set up like a gelatin or a gel. And if it's rendered inside the water, meaning it's broken down into little pieces, that means we risk the water gelling up to a thick consistency. And we need this formula to stay very, very thin for our pump bottles, our foaming pump bottles. So this way, what we're doing essentially is creating a tea. I'm infusing the water with the collagen and the vitamins and the minerals, but I'm not allowing any of the little pieces to break down and get inside the water. Um, because that way, when that happens, first of all, your water's gonna gel up or become thicker. And also, if you don't want the little pieces floating around in your finished product, it's very, very hard 
to strain those out. So this way you keep everything in there and it doesn't strain into your, into your formula. So we're gonna allow this to steep for a full 20 minutes, like you're making a strong tea. All right, so this has been steeping now for 20 minutes and it's time to go ahead and remove the sea moss. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this little bag a squeeze just to kind of release all of that goodness. All right, once you have removed the coffee filter and sea moss, it's time to go ahead and weigh off the actual amount of sea moss infused water that we're gonna be using for this recipe. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, perfect. So I did have a little bit left over. If you find yourself running short, you can also just substitute um, the rest with regular distilled water. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredients to the water phase. We're gonna be adding in the rest of the water phase ingredients to the formula. And the first thing that we're gonna add to this is some vegetable glycerin. Now we're gonna be using quite a bit of vegetable glycerin in this formula. It makes this so luxurious feeling. It really helps to draw the moisture to your skin, which is perfect for a facial wash. So it might seem like a lot, but trust me, when you use this, it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all. It's perfect. Next up is some calendula extract. You wanna make sure this is a water soluble extract because we are making a water-based facial wash. So calendula extract is known for its anti-inflammatory properties and anti-redness properties. It's found in a ton of skincare and beauty line products, absolutely gorgeous. And it is actually very super well known for its anti-redness properties. The next thing we're gonna be adding is something called Lame Soft. Now, if you've never used this product, it's a game changer with surfactant-based formulas like this one, where you want to add back in some refatting agent, conditioning properties, and really, really good kind of slippery skin feel. Great for facial washes, great for hair care. It is a combination of cocoa glucoside and glycerol oleate. I got mine from Voyager Soap and Candle. However, I know that there's other places that do carry it. Um, if you can't get it from there. And we're gonna go ahead and add this in. It doesn't take a lot to make a, a big difference in these types of products. Gives it almost a creamy feel as well. Okay, next up in the water phase here is going to be our preservative and then our essential oil. So for our preservative, we're gonna be using Liquid Germol Plus because it's great for watery type formulas and it's a broad spectrum preservative. And then the essential oil that we're adding in is tea tree. Tea tree essential oil is really well known for its antibacterial and anti-acne properties it doesn't dry your skin out, which is awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and add this in. Now, the amount that I'm adding in here is, is low, but you do have to be careful with tea tree that you don't add too much because it can make it too tingly. This facial wash is gonna give you a little bit of tingle. And if you don't like it as strong as I've made it, you can back down the tea tree oil. Okay, so from here, we're gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Of course, you're gonna see that oil is floating around in there. It'll float around in there until we get our surfactants in because right now everything is just watery. And as you know, oil and water don't mix. So the Lame Soft is gonna turn that cloudy and same with the essential oils at first, but 
This does go back to a clear color. Okay, and now it's time to go ahead and add in the surfactants. The surfactants in this formula are what bring the bubbles and the cleansing properties to the facial wash. And I've chosen three really good ones. So the first surfactant that we're gonna be using is called Cocomidal Propobetaine. I absolutely love this one, it's my favorite. Um, it's super gentle, it's got a lower pH naturally, it's made out of coconuts, and it's absolutely lovely. It has a really nice foam, it adds flash foam, bubbles, so it does really enhance the lather while also being gentle. Okay, next up we're gonna be adding in some capril, capril glucoside. Now, this is also a natural surfactant. It's mild. It has great solubilizing properties, which means once this goes in there, it's going to combine with the small amount of tea tree oil that we have in there, and you won't have any of that separation of the tea tree oil from the formula anymore. This is the one that helps. It has great solubilizing properties. So I, I recommend this one also for, for surfactant-based formulas because you won't get that separation of your oil as long as you're using a small amount. Of course, you can't go crazy um, and add a bunch of oil to it. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. Okay, there we go. And then the last surfactant we're gonna be using is some foaming apples. Now, these combined, these three surfactants combined, again, are so gentle, perfect for facial care. So foaming apple is actually a surfactant made out of apples. So it's very, very gentle. This, can, this is also gentle around your eyes, which is why I like it for facial care. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a little stir. And we're gonna be gentle, not to try to kick up too many bubbles while we're stirring this. We're just giving it a nice and gentle stir. All right, that ought to do it. And then the last thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and bottle this up and then I'll show you how it works. So I got these cute little cube-shaped foamer bottles off of Amazon. I think they're so cute. So this is a 200 gram batch that we made. I'm just going to go ahead and gently, carefully pour that in. And there you go, it's all bottled up, looking super cute in this little cube container. And now I wanted to show you real quick the difference. So as you can see, my formula that I just made is still kind of cloudy, but it will go completely clear after about a couple hours or so, this will go back to clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, so before I bring my bowl in here to the frame, I just wanna show you how awesome this comes out. This is it comes out so perfect. So just give it a little squeeze and there you go. It's a beautiful foaming, creamy looking facial wash. And even though it's so light and fluffy, like in your hands when you lather it up, it feels so, it almost feels a little bit dense and you can see we're getting a nice dense, creamy, foaming facial wash. And the tea tree in here is amazing. I'm telling you, I think this is my new favorite of my facial wash formulas. I hope you really enjoyed it. It just feels awesome. Gentle cleansing power. 
Oh, you probably are wondering about the pH. It's low. All the surfactants we used in here are a low pH and it's right around a 5.8. If you want to lower it a little bit, you can add a little bit of citric acid, but you don't have to. All right, everybody. That's how you make a beautiful sea moss infused foaming facial wash. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please remember to leave a comment or a question below. I love answering your questions. It means a lot to me when you comment. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.